Good morning. So we're out here for a, another garden update. These are cucumbers. So they have this lovely trellis to climb. Yeah, probably should have thinned them out, but you know what? It is what it is. I'm leaving them. It took me a while to figure out how to get them started. So yeah, I'm not going to pull them out and kill them. Um, onions, of course, are everywhere. Um, putting on all the lovely squirrely heads and flowers and lots and lots and lots of dividing to do this fall. Um, I do have some takers that I'm going to take these tops to in town. I've made arrangements for them. Um, we have tomatoes. This container garden, the only thing I will say is it soaks up a lot of water. An awesome amount of water. Uh, it always seems dry. I keep watering. Things are still really short. I, I don't know what the deal is. So, but on the upside right down here we have a cantaloupe plant. I, the kids planted it and I hadn't planted anything over it so I guess it decided to finally germinate. We have some strawberries. RJ will be happy with this. Look at that little cluster there. Yes. At these big plants I don't see any in here but hey RJ will find them if they're in there <sighs> the mint I gotta every time I clear it out and get it under control this Johnson grass comes back so yeah um, my little sage plants doing good it's down there along the fence um, let's see here I'll have to look at these peaches I am so super stoked we're gonna have peaches this year we're going to have peaches. Lots of peaches. I love it. Um, anyway, but here's my little sage plant right there. So, yeah. There we go. And then the blackberries. I've got to get down here. I did have not mowed this week, as you can tell. And it has gotten uh, overrun a little bit. But the reason is, is like this morning, I have time to mow. It is soaking wet. The dew has been so heavy. My two little mystery plants here are doing wonderful. We've had one problem with the watermelon, and that is the chickens got in here and dug up every one of the watermelons. Except for that one way down there. It's holding on. Um, so I'm going to have to fence this. And I'm okay with that. I knew that might happen if I actually got things growing so yeah um however they have not by the grace of god they have not dug up anything along here so um these are the uh dragon it's egg cucumbers and these over here are the gourds and i believe one watermelon so <clears throat> i may still have a watermelon or two in there so i'm holding out hope for that um, then, let's see, what else? Down here, we have the herbs. Now, I reused some, some of last year's potting soil that didn't work. And apparently, some of last year's seeds decided this year they're going to plant. I have no idea what those are. It's supposed to be time. That is not time. Um, and they're coming up fast. They're loving that soil. I have no idea what's going on with them. Same thing here. So... Now, over here is supposed to be... Now, the fennel, I haven't seen anything coming up in the fennel. But we'll keep watch. Now, over here, RJ tilled this, and we put down garlic... No, I'm sorry, chives and garlic chives. Now, we have something coming up, but whether it's weeds or not, I don't know. See the little ones in there? But if you look, we just tilled. We didn't get real... Uh, elaborate with it so yeah there it is we don't know if that's what it is coming in or not and the last thing that I have forgot walked right past it didn't even talk about it is the climbing spinach so for you gardeners who know about spinach and how it's hard to have spinach in the um, heat because spinach just doesn't like heat blah 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 this spinach is supposed to love heat. It's not a true spinach, but um, 
it tastes like spinach so to me I don't care whether it's true spinach or not but here is our climbing spinach we have one here one here one there we have one here one here that one's not doing too good these are starting to really this right here is once once you get this established they say that it will self sow and you don't have to worry about it anymore so me getting it established taking a little bit but uh, it's hanging in there and then i've got bird feeder gourds coming up that are i guess one planted itself and I have seeds right here that germinated. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them or not, but I figure in my garden, anything that struggles that long to stay alive deserves a fighting chance. So, all right. That is our little garden update. Um, it's better than last year, you know. I'm just saying I have some plants that are surviving, and I'm okay with that. So, um, the loofah gourds that are on the other side of that trellis and the uh, cucumbers were our focus this year. So, um, now we wanted that grow tower to work. I think we might get stuff out of it. I don't know. If it just would grow, it just gets so dry. So, anyway, um, the strawberries are a bonus. The cucumbers in the tub are a bonus. Um, just little experiments so I am liking this I feel pretty confident because those two things were our main focus with no water can and the farmers market because hopefully we'll get some loofah gourds they have to be harvested next for ne and dried out and they'll they'll sell for next year so we'll have 100% uh, natural loofahs to go with our soap and then the cucumber, the dragon's eggs cucumbers, uh, I really want to sell in this area. So, anyway, there's your garden update, and I gotta go turn off that water. <laughs>